Put it in it. We miss all that? We miss all of that. Oh, okay. Oh, right. all, all hey, 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 Mr. Brad Stoll, Mr. Eric <laughs> Lazinski, we missed the names, we missed the introductions, we missed everything. All right? <laughs> this uh, kid's already tired so of clapping. He's like, no, no more. <sighs> so what's going on, y'all? What's, what's going on with the world? Mm-hmm. Fucking Pence left yesterday. Yes. Just, what is this, a news show now? <laughs> he, 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 that's what he came to talk about. He, he, it's not the people's like, news. <laughs> so. He had this shit on his chest. This is what I want to talk about. You guys want to talk about <laughs> everything <laughs> else? <laughs> Is that how you feel? I mean, I, we'll, we'll eventually get to that. I just, I just, we have to go right there. I'm sorry. Yeah, sorry. It's, it's raining. You're outside. like the comic who opens with a Trump joke. <laughs> you're that guy. You look like it. You look like. It. No, I mean, I, he looks like he salutes him. Just I like that. Isn't magic. this kind of ironic? Okay. Two bald guys and Jimmy Dude, Naples. Yeah, yeah. All two three, white, all three, bald guys. Yeah. This, At least this looks here. better. This looks better. He's got the you and hair would be a little concerned. This, this, I don't, I don't like it. It looks like a ball. I don't like it. I don't know. We look like, we look like a Rogaine commercial. I'm glad I cut my goatee. Oh, so. <laughs> why? why? What's yeah, I feel like you'd recruit me for for the for some racist organization. That's what I'm saying. It's good what? that you're bald, too, because yeah. it'd be really, really weird. I don't anymore. fucking like it. Oh, shit. How are we guys doing? Good? Good? Yeah. All right, this is getting awesome. Give it up one more time. Uh, let's, do, let's do the origin story. How did you get into comedy? Um, well, uh, my parents got divorced. No, I'm not going to start that. <laughs> that's, right. that's probably about right. No, I um, I did acting for about like 10 years, yeah. and uh, I wasn't very good. Uh, the constant thing I heard was, you got a great stage presence and you have great comedic timing, which was pretty much them saying, you're good at standing on stage. You're Where'd killer. You, where uh, I was in Florida, but I started comedy here. And when I moved to New York, September 12th, the day after 9-11, uh, 2014, nice. actually, not the actual day. Uh, and I did my first mic at Broadway Comedy Club. Uh, I know Frank Terranova was there, so I knew it wasn't going to be a good mic. <laughs> like, I knew, I, I felt myself bombing. I didn't know who he was, but I just felt like, you know what, this is going to be something I'm never going to forget. I brought five of my friends. One was my sister included. She's not my friend. Um, she's just my sister. Um, uh, so she, I go on stage, I do my jokes, uh, for what we'll call those jokes at the time, and all my friends were like, just keep going, keep doing it, you got this. And my sister's like, if you ever talk about your dick again, I'm never coming back. Is like, she, it she was... a black girl? No. <laughs> <laughs> for, for, this, for this story, she is She's half black. Not... What? Um, no. Uh, I love white girls who talk with the with the. <laughs> with the I gotta throw the thing in. I gotta sell it. That's my know? new thing. Um, <laughs> that's also what they told me. They're like, you have good standing on stage and you're good at acting black. No, and uh, I just kept doing it, man. I mean, I I didn't get a single laugh for like four months, I think, and I was at the point of like, I'm gonna quit. This is it. And I, I mean, my you know my one of my best friends who I do stand up. You know, we produce shows together. My buddy Santi Espinosa. He uh, was the first guy to ever tell me I was funny. I think that's what you need when you start this. You need something like a little bit of a push to keep you going because I feel like any one of us wants to quit any day of the week. If you don't have somebody fucking encouraging you. That's not your mom because that's the worst kind of support <laughs> yeah. that you can ask for because it's just like smoke and mirrors. You don't want to yeah. listen. First, first person that believes in you. First person that believes in you and you yeah. just keep kind of going. We built our own little empire, just show together, and you know. And now, uh, now I'm here. That was the most boring story I could have told to start, but uh, that's you know, I, yeah, that's that's really what it is. I mean, I think it's a lot of uh, yeah, that's oh, yeah. that's you, and absolutely. Oh. Yeah. In your bong. See, now we gotta eagle it out. Yeah. This looks a lot better. better. Black, fat, uh, wait, as long as the black guys were late, that's his school. How long like, you guys <laughs> no, like two hours. Two, two hours. <laughs> no, he can't. actually didn't press record until right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. It's all We've just been talking oh, to these guys. Worry. Don't worry. Uh, yeah. that's, that's in your bong. Uh, Eric. Yeah. 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 It's all good. You don't know me. <laughs> but you will. Yeah. Uh, we're doing our origin stories. So, so uh, go to Eric, and then I'll take, go to you. So um, for, me, um, for me, I kind of, well, I started off doing improv about five and a half, six years ago. Ugh. You got yeah, an improv well, back <laughs> Jesus Christ. So, and, then, and then I basically saw that that was a sham and started doing stand-up. Um, and I, for me, I just, I just did it and got hooked and kind of, that's all I wanted to do. I just kept on doing stand up. So at UCB? Uh, no, I did like Magnet. I did um, Pit. Uh, so, you did, so, you're, so, you're, so you're very broke going into improv. 
Uh, pretty much. Yeah. 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 I did UCB. the drop-ins. UCB's for the, the fucking drop, rich. The, the pit, I did the drop-ins, the $20 drop-ins every Saturday. Um, and then I just started... Wait, what's a $20 drop-in? They just pay 20 bucks and you... They bring you up, like, really famous. They just give you a bunch of credits and you just walk in. Yeah. No, no it's, it's not just... It's, just it's a class. class. It's a class. It's just like a... You, yeah. you pay, like, a one-time fee. And that's like pretty much... That's And I started doing stand-up and I started loving it. And I, I don't know, man. I just so, 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 so it's like, it's like a mic... Yeah, but for improv, but it's well, drop class. In, it's an improv drop in class. You basically so I can get yeah. way more for these mics than five bucks. <laughs> is what you're telling me? Pretty much, so pretty much. Like but it's twenty dollars for a bunch of people who are actually rooting for you to do well. So that's a good deal. It's, yeah, I guess. That's that's a, is that what we need to pay? <laughs> if you realistically <laughs> think about it, that's you pay for a that's what, that's why I don't. That's why I like more about stand up. Do you work for laughing Buddha? That's it. I'm a pit. Like, oh yeah, let me just. That's a good what, what do you mean? <laughs> what, 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 what the fuck does that mean? You're trying to make pay for this shit sound sweet. I mean, like, like fuck fuck out it. Here. Five dollars? Five dollars to eat shit? And, I mean, I'm not, yeah, I'm, that's what I'm saying. Strap me down and fill my I'm not wearing a wire. That's what you're like, asking that's right now. <laughs> so, that's, so that's pretty much it. And then I, you know. Oh, my God. And then I, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> and I'm not a uh, vendor for uh, Magnum. I'm just saying. So how did you go from uh, from uh, improv to comedy? I just started doing open mics and I got hooked. I, just, I don't. So you said fuck improv. And yeah, pretty much. That was it. You do look like an improv teacher, though. To be fair. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I mean, like, you have a happy go lucky yeah. look. Oh, but I'm, I am, but I'm not. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, there's a lot of dark. He said he'll beat your ass. That's what he said. I don't no, know. That's what he said. No, so that's you want it. Pretty much it. Yeah. 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 That then, uh, can't be a good look. You look like you teach improv. <laughs> <laughs> like that's fucked up, bro. I Means he's, he's approachable. <laughs> that's true. Most of this room is not approachable. But, but like, you say yes, but, fuck you. But nah, truth be yeah. told, the improv teacher said the best. You'll never make money off improv. And I was like, you, improv is it's all about learning act outs for your stand up, and that's yeah. it. That's, that's a true great way of looking at it. Yeah. Did a bunch of those dudes get charged with like? Rape charges and shit. That's like that's like two dudes out of like <laughs> thousands that do improv. Yeah, Yo, you really. You know how many rapists are in fucking comedy in general? Yeah, are you for much. rape? I don't no, know. That's, that's, not, that's <laughs> not what There's I. There's only that. two guys. <laughs> There's only two. I'm gonna ask the one guy. One guy. Let me ask you a question. How many comedians, have, like stand-up comics, have been accused of fucking rape and? But they've shit. done their time. They're convicts. Fucking rape equation. They did so you mean time. spend more money, right. you're more like... They paid their debt to society. These improv guys are running loose. Again, there's... <laughs> they're no different. <laughs> they're they're no different. In America. I, I disagree with that. They're no different. Just they're slipping running the money. <laughs> <laughs> just running a fucking yeah. money. Because, because they have to act out the scene over again and then... Uh, you know, they're gonna act out the rape out, the rape, yeah. the rape out, the rape out, the rape out. Is that what I want to name this episode? Yeah. 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 This, rape is where out. You this episode is, out. is called the rape. You'll out. Get You'll get a lot of hits. Please don't have my name. They're probably yeah. like tagging yeah. all of you. Oh god, don't do that. Um, Ennio, how'd you, how'd you uh, get uh, started? Start comedy. Yeah, that was like super villain orange origin story. Absolutely, you do have a super villain story. I was, you yeah, I can't tell that here though. Why not? We all told our story. Uh, I, I was going to school, right? I had two jobs. I was going to college, I had two jobs. Was it college? No, bitch. <laughs> what do you got? Uh, you go to college? I got a got You going to college? No. <laughs> no, no, I, I didn't, I didn't. Smart, but <laughs> smart <laughs> right? So no, I went to college. So. I think I was taking like a, you know, your your liberal arts credits is uh, one oh, of them okay. is uh, public speaking, mm-hmm. and I've always my friends have always told me to do stand up, and I was like, look, if I'm going to do this bullshit class, I might as well public speak in a way that I've always wanted to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I started like carrying a notebook around, for like eight months. I had this crazy man. Get what are you get into it? Come on! Don't leave all these guys on a cliff. Look at all of them. They're like, who did you kill? They're waiting. They're waiting. <laughs> they're waiting. <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> they're just like, when is the mic starting? <laughs> I sound like I, Hopefully I'm not laughing. Yeah, tell us more about <laughs> tell us more <laughs> Bill Hicks about the mic. How did it all go? It sounds like, a, it sound like a, okay, well, so right, like, I, I still perform my first set I ever did on stage. Well, it's actually the second set I ever did on stage. I wrote it out. I went to open mic. Well, because... Wait, I'm, I'm jumping around. See, I'm trying, wait, I'm trying wait, to tell the story in linear. What was the thing that you were about to like just yeah. jump off and not say? Oh, all my shit was dope. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> see? That's what I didn't want to see. <laughs> you. I would have rather you. I would have rather you mugged or killed somebody. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was like, yeah. you raped somebody, and then she no, told you you should be. Nah, just, I don't I know. Just, I wrote some stuff. Maybe and you raped someone. <laughs> <Rough class. laughs> she said you'd be funny. <laughs> yeah, I, I still use that shit to this day. I thought he was gonna say, and then I actually took okay. improv. Class. <laughs> I know. That's <laughs> worth. <laughs> 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 We're second guessing everything. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, I found out I had a kid. Shut up. I you found a, out? Well, you found out you had a kid? So this woman who I thought... Yeah, so it's just a weird situation. So I met my son when he was three. Wow. Uh, <laughs> at the same time... At the same time, I had to quit... Had to quit my jobs because they were conflicting with my school schedule. Dropped out of school. Gained 150 pounds. Shit. Sure. So I was like, fuck it, why not try comedy? <laughs> <laughs> what was her name? What, what? what was her name? I'm not saying that on a video. <laughs> 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 search engine request. Is she a she a No, this oh. is a, this is a <laughs> random... Person. How did it go? Like, Was this a girl you just picked up at a bar one night? No, this is a chick I used to live with. We are in a relationship. She lived in New York. But wow. then she moved away. To go to school, mm-hmm. and uh, she would just visit every now and then. On one of those visits, a little temporary. My son was conceived. God damn. Yeah. How's your son now? Nine. Damn. Damn. Yeah. Talk to your kid. Yeah, I'm going to see him this weekend. Oh, that's awesome. Nice. Yeah. Very cool. Like I'm, I, I don't want to be that dude shouting into a phone on the street to some lady. Nah, it's my weekend. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, it's a very fun. It's, Super fucked up circumstances surrounding. Give me back my son. conception, but like I, I know how to be civil. I'm not an idiot. That's good. That too. Yeah. So yeah, I started doing comedy, uh, and then I lost that fucking book. I spent like a, like spent like a year oh, writing fuck, before yeah. I ever. Yeah, that shit was like. By the way, more disappointed you lost the book than the kid. Yeah, dude. <laughs> always. Yeah, always. Always. <laughs> always. Uh, <laughs> especially. They don't, they don't write that book for a year. Joke material. <laughs> yeah. In your face, little By the way, all yeah. joke material. All <laughs> joke. Did all, we say it was all the best jokes? Yo. Oh, man. Uh, good. Like, when I forget my. Like, you ever have that point on stage when, like, you just, like, forget your life's work? You can't think of a single fucking joke. Oh, right. So in that moment, I become like Muhammad Ali, where I just use my first set that I ever did, and I just start <laughs> just spitting it out of roll until I can remember what the Jesus. fuck I actually wanted to say. So it's just like a bunch of non sequitur, weird punchlines that actually kind of work for me. So I'm just saying, so you, do you still remember that? that yeah, I remember the inside. It's like a little two minute thing I did at the pit. Oh, wow. The, 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 the actual the dollar, dollar, tree, the dollar the, thing where you paid the yeah, dollar? Yeah. Well, yeah. back when it was yeah. free. Yeah. It, that was free. Are you talking about the one at uh, Pit Loft? Yeah, the Pit Loft. You can't even get No, not even yeah. the, not the yeah, Pit Loft. Loft. At the, uh, uh, the real pit. Yeah, the real pit. Yeah. Right. Oh, okay. Who was running the mic? 23rd Street, right? I think it was either... Uh, <laughs> yeah. 23rd, 23rd and 3rd. What's that big black dude's name? Rich Thomas? It was either... It was either Jay Welch or... He's not black. There's a big black guy. Oh. Who, he, you he, said big black guy, you're like Jay Welch. I'm like, that's the whitest or, big guy I've ever thought of. The, the black version of Jay Welch was like oh. this old dude who had a big beard. Oh, Jason I Welch. There's such a <laughs> Jason Jerome, 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 Jerome Welch. Welch. <laughs> so you just called him Welch's? Oh, Welch's. <laughs> Jay Welch's. <laughs> no, it's Jay Welch's, man. Jay Welch's? Uh, Jay Welch's free snack. Uh, real quick. Uh, yeah. What is pissing you off about this is for you? I know, you know you came in hot. What's pissing you off about this country? Oh, oh man. Um, I will just say that go around, and then we'll get questions. I'll say real quick that the the divide has just continued to be divided. We're just just dividing people out. That's all we're doing. And we're pinning they're trying to pin pin us against each other to hate each other, but we gotta love each other. And the fucking goddamn Keep on kneeling for your rights, and fucking, it's not about the country, it's about what it's about that. And it just pisses me off that, um, that this, and that's not that, it's just like that, it, it sh- they show the abuse of the power, and there's no um, rep- repercussions for certain people, but there are for other people. That's it. And I think you guys know what I'm talking about, the guy with the orange face and the fucking comb over, right? Yeah. The schmuck. 
Trump. You, you're like the last <laughs> scene of American history ever. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, when he comes yeah, down, yeah, he's like, and wait, 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 you still have all this hate? But I got one other thing. One other thing. One other thing. I'm a changed man. I am a changed man. But yeah, that's, that's, and that's pretty much and that's that's pretty much it. And that my uh, thing, my anxiety and the old lady in front of me when I'm going to work. Do I kick her over or what do I do to her? Shit. What? Oh, That's what a joke. That's yeah. a joke. <laughs> <laughs> well, this, well, this podcast turned a really uh, uplifting turn. <laughs> <laughs> Beat the shit out of old ladies? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I actually brand new. Um... I think we need more guns. No. Um, uh, no, I... I don't know. I feel like a lot of this is very... It's bad. I think it's blown up. And I think you, I think you nailed it on the head, you know, the kind of turning everybody against each other. And uh, I'm not a political person, which is what someone would say if they voted for Trump, but I didn't do that. Um, I, don't, I don't... I'm not... I don't, I don't care. I, like, I, I hate what's going on in our country, but I feel like a lot of it is just to get us more scared. Yeah, like, there was really a Vegas shooter. But, like, the Korea thing is kind of just like, is it? Like, you know, like, or is it just a bunch yeah. of guys pulling out their dick and who's going to, you know, press it first? Like, I don't... We're in New York City. Dude, Nothing we, happens we, here. Nothing's changed. We'll, 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 like, it's the same... Tell me something that's changed in the city that you live in right now. Anything. Well, we had the same Besides, like, the subway fare. Nothing, right? I feel like... Our lives don't change here, so it's like, it sucks. But, dude, what? we had... Besides, <laughs> besides, besides we had, gentrification. We had that conversation. Could you imagine if Barack said half the shit that he said would happen? No, I'm not... I'm not... I'm not, no, I'm not, not empathizing with what he's saying. I'm yeah. just... I'm just yeah. saying in he general... He could say one thing. It's just... It's... <laughs> yeah. I, think a, I think a lot of this... The social media, like... Justice warrior bullshit that it does nothing. It's just, we're just a hashtag. I don't think we're doing fucking anything. There's that. nothing changing. People are just like hashtag and like me and follow me. Fuck you. You don't know what you're doing. You're not changing the world. Like all the shit they're talking about. Yeah, may be factual, may not be factual. But at the same time, the only people that are doing shit about it are making fucking selfie videos about like our president's doing this. Blah blah blah. Anyways, retweet this video. People are just trying to get big off this. No one cares. Am I wrong? Oh, that guy's raising his hand. Okay. Yeah, question. No, I'm just... I'm no, he's just about that. Oh, you said oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. I've never, 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 did, did, I, I never <laughs> seen this instance where someone raises their fist <laughs> to a bald guy. Yes. <laughs> yes, brother. Preach. He pulled on him like a teacher. I, I feel like... <laughs> I don't get his hand raised. I, I'm not going to lie. His hand was like this, but I didn't see this. But thank you. I don't know. I'm not trying to, like... Anyways, I don't know if uh, it's just me. I feel like every anyways, time. Anyways, I'm doing a weekend in Zanies. No, I'm kidding. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. I feel like when things get too hot with North Korea, there's always a school shooting or a shooting. Is that is that just me? Um, like I, every time. I think that I think every. <laughs> huh? Wait, wait, wait. What are you saying? That's ridiculous. Is it? <laughs> is it why? So you're saying they they plan. A school shooting to take people's mind off. Absolutely. Korea. How, how, just, why is that ridiculous? They're like, let's take out a but you're not minutes. thinking about North Korea. Let's be real. They're running out of styles of crazy yeah. looking people. Yeah. And they're all starting to look the same. Yeah. Gold molding they the have no guy. information on this guy. It's, it's like... He's just an old dude. You see the picture too that they got of him? It looks like off MySpace. Yeah. <laughs> and they don't get old grandpa who drank too much. Like, they, don't true. True. they don't have to plan the shooting. They could just plan the coverage. Because we can choose what to report and not to report. That's very true. Fucked up shit happens every day. It's just like, a lot of terrorist organizations wouldn't be terrorist organizations without the news. So true. Yeah. They want exposure. You can follow ISIS uh-huh. on Facebook. Right? ISIS? Yeah. Yeah. Do you? No, you can't. <laughs> Yo, ISIS, Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> they, they, they have At a this Twitter. rate, if Twitter's not kicking off They have Trump, a Twitter They probably have their own Twitter. Yeah, Twitter. Yeah. They have. ISIS is fake, man. I don't, huh? I don't, I don't believe it either. Sure. Yeah, man. Like, yeah. look. Terrorist organizations are. How do you how do you get that many Toyota Tacomas? You know what I mean? Like, like <laughs> how? They got on the yeah. same outfits. Like, they no. got so many. No. Have you seen? I, there's so many Toyota Tacomas. <laughs> this show, Every yeah. terrorist organization. <laughs> and and that's no real. Up. That car's on fire. <laughs> they're hooked up to me. They got the, they got the drop bars in the back. Yeah. And shit. They're all yeah. fucking hooked like, up. Bullshit. Every terrorist in the desert. <laughs> nobody's. Come on. Come on. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like it's, it's suspicious. Like yeah. I don't want to get into black conspiracy shit, but I mean, it's like, suspicious. I mean, we're already there. I mean, have you seen Boko Haram? They, that, they're fucking Boko Haram. Is, that, that, that's what I mean. Like when you look at Boko Haram, you look at ISIS. Like 
Boko Haram is a group of immigrant dads. That's what yeah. terrorism is supposed to look like. Yeah. Just these niggas are just like, hey, let's do some shit. But they don't match. They just wear a bunch of guys who don't have jobs. And they got a rocket launcher. That's what terrorism is supposed well, to look like. That's what all the unemployed like, dads got yeah. around here. I, I, I grew up I with know. the kind of like the, the, the Nigerian dad. I also think like I think this is. I also do feel like <laughs> a lot of like everyone's like white supremacy is back at it. It's not a fad. It's, it's always been it's around. Funny. Whether like Charlottesville, it's like you pick the place mm-hmm. where they're. Definitely is like a white supremacist group, and then you act surprised when a bunch of bros and fucking sperries pull out a bunch of torches, and be like, oh, uh, "Black uh, black lives don't matter, and uh, white lives matter." Blah blah blah, whatever. I just to me that's just such bullshit. You know how many other places that's happening? It's just one place that's getting a lot of media attention. Exactly, and, it's one fucking place. And black lives that's matter, happening everywhere. Black lives matter does not represent any nigga I know. <laughs> no. Fuck out of here! Like, I'm tired of these people who don't even know how to throw up the black power fist. Real for real for real. They're all like, oh, black lives matter. Like, fuck out of here. Black, black Just to clarify, yours <laughs> definitely wasn't the same. A black lives <laughs> matter. So great with a white guy. And black, 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 black lives matter. I can't breathe. Like, who are you telling you can't breathe? Yeah. The nigga choking you? He knows you can't breathe. That's, 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 that's the whole point. Like, I, I don't fuck with any of those hashtags, man. Yeah. They do not represent me. <laughs> like, except, you know I mean? except hashtag swag. You, you boycott the NFL? I never watched the NFL. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I, 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 like, I grew up kind of awkward in that I couldn't have those like sports conversations. Like, I like to play sports, but I'm not well, sitting there watching the shit. Baseball sucks. Like, most organized sports, I feel, are just rigged anyways. Controlled by the mafia. All right. I'm just a conspiracy nerd. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I, never, I was never yeah. into sports. Never so get obsessed, like, with, obsessed with quoting stats of, like, baseball players. I just never I saw don't know the, any stats. Never I'll, saw the fascination. You're all not, I know are the racist you know. ones. <laughs> <laughs> like, no. When Jackie Robinson came in. <laughs> yeah, and Jackie Robinson is a Uncle Tom to me. It's like... Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were about to just break somewhere. Yeah, Jackie go. Robinson... <laughs> To me, signify the death of the black baseball league. Like, if he would have just left the color barrier where it was. You starting a vlog soon? In 2017, <laughs> would you rather watch an all black baseball league or an all white baseball league? How much is like, a ticket? All Dominican. Yeah. <laughs> all Dominican, yes. Baseball Very much all Dominican. I don't watch baseball. baseball so boring, no baseball. <laughs> or Japanese. They're pretty good. Look, man. Anyways, I think we should take can a we, Can, we get a, can yeah, we get a question? Anybody got questions? <laughs> For you, you're last. <laughs> this is Anybody? Torture. One question. Question, question, question. I hate you all. No, but there is no mic. How about that? You want to cancel the mic? <laughs> no. <laughs> what's, your, uh, what's your favorite curse word? Uh... Shit, I've been using that a lot. Shit. Shit is shitty. Shit. <laughs> shit is shit. Actually, no. Let me say nigger. Nigger is my favorite curse word. What is that? And I don't mean nigga. I mean oh, nigger. Sure. With the hard R. Wait. Uh, wait. Do you think Trump will get elected again? Oh, my God. God. Jesus Christ. We're doing so good. <laughs> we were on to something. <laughs> I mean, Bush got elected again. Why wouldn't Trump? Against The Rock? The rocks? <laughs> no one's beating The Rock. <laughs> the Rock. I think the only person who can beat him is Kanye, Tom Hanks, or George Clooney. Where's your accent from? Houston, your face. What? Oh, oh, I was about to say. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody said no. Fuck that. It's like, no? Because <laughs> your voice doesn't match your face. You, you should be sitting up here with these guys. Cool. Scott. What's your name? Michael. Michael. What were you going to say, Jeremy? Um... Uh, Anyhow, what's your favorite conspiracy theory? Like, popular one. Yeah. I'll be making up my own shit yeah. sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> you got some dildos? D- there he is again. There no, I'm, guy not, guy. I'm not that guy. I'm the, I, think the only, I, don't think, I think the only real conspiracy theorists are black conspiracy theorists because the ill shit that's perpetrated against the people of this nation are typically the black ones. Like when you're talking about giving people fucking Tuskegee Airmen and all sorts of weird shit and crack epidemic. It's like conspiracy... All the major conspiracy theories perpetrated by the government against the people that have been proven true happen to black people. So it's just hmm. if you're not if you're not talking about black conspiracy theories, I don't want to hear that bullshit. And or or dope here, dope right? ones. Indians are here, but yeah. they just have are a they? wicked suicide rate. <laughs> They're being in, fucking in where? 
on their uh, reservations. Yeah. Wait, wait, what? They're, they're, yeah, they're the highest actually, like, alcoholism. Is actually, actually, yeah. actually, because yeah. of like the casinos and how profiting. Like, if you're if you're Native American, like if you can prove you have Native American blood, you get a percentage of the profits from casinos. Yeah. But so a few of the families who own some of the major tests. ones are trying to like discredit other families' gene, like their gen. Genealogy, mm-hmm. just so they're like, gonna cut of money. Yeah, so they're actually trying to like thinning themselves out as Indians <laughs> at this point. That's how wicked <laughs> the power struggle has gotten. It's where Indians are trying to prove that other people, or just Native Americans, are trying to prove other people are Native Americans, and their population just keeps shrinking and shrinking. That's so yeah, I mean it's an ill machine, and I mean oh, white people trying to take rap. <laughs> I mean, it's not not trying. I mean, like they, they probably could, and that's the no, problem. No, I mean, if it's you saw iTunes, they have all jazz. Yeah, the way they took jazz, they try yeah. to take rap. They just and rock and roll. That's, rock and roll. That's yeah, yeah, <laughs> rock and roll. Rock and roll's good. Nah, I'm good on that. You guys got that. Is, is, is you like, guys had it. There's only one black-owned radio station now. So. Is it? Yeah. Wait, what? One black-owned radio station. What's a real radio company? Yeah, Radio One, I believe. And it's a light skinned nigga. No, it's, just, uh, <laughs> it's a woman actually. It's a woman. Yeah, but she's yeah, oh, she's light skinned. <laughs> she's actually half Brazilian. Yeah, she's right, right. black. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's it. as far as I, I think Cox is part black. Yeah, it. I didn't want to be this black. Yeah, you are. <laughs> you are. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, you know what it is? I just came from a Facebook argument. That's what it is. So I'm just first of all, why? why uh, can I ask you something? Why get involved in this? What? what does that prove? And the Facebook comments? I, I, I'm, I'm just saying, because I don't like them particularly. Because sometimes I just want to see if someone act is about their bullshit. So it's like... Or calling people out okay. on Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. You want to call out rapey dudes. Let's have that discussion. Okay. It's like, okay, do you actually care about rape and the issues that surround it? Or are you well, I think people just want to be heard on that. Yeah. Feed. Yeah, yeah some people want to be heard and some people are doing recruiting. Like if for, I'm for what? For, to for get raped or to, to another Facebook what? group? I feel like <laughs> I feel Facebook like the way the way pedophiles are coaches in little league to like scout for talent. Sometimes you'll find a certain kind of female who might be in the females uses fucking uh, women's rights issues to scout for talent. Like, yeah, dudes suck, right? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 okay. yeah. Fuck these guys. So it's like, all right, do you care about this issue? Or so, you so you, do you feel like it's your job to, to police people? Yeah, of course, it's not my job. I don't even do like that. No, no. I, I just like, like, like cause you, just you, like you, 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 you just like. I don't like <laughs> I just, I just really want to see what it's because sometimes it's like, I see X Y Z putting a lot of effort on this issue. Let's see if they care about the issue. It was just oh, okay, some bullshit. I really want you. I just want to. Oh, okay. Myself. So like you're you're you, you see a certain. It has to be a certain person. Yeah. You're not gonna just, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a. I hate people. <laughs> <laughs> like what do I give a fuck if they if, like you can smoke yourself to death, do whatever yourself to death. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we got we got we got started a little late. Um, where can they find you? Uh, you can follow me uh, at Dammit underscore Brad on Instagram. I have a podcast breakdown it's on iTunes. Check it out. Website. Uh, not yet. Get your shit together. I know. Follow me at uh, E James Azuncio on Instagram. I have a. Spell your last name. L A Z E N is in Nancy S K I. Is that Russian? Uh, Polish. Oh, my dad's Polish, Jewish. My mom's Irish and Ukrainian. And your website? Uh, e, you can follow me on Instagram at E James Azuncio. And also, um, I have a weekly mic at uh, Legion called Deep Fried Mike every Wednesday at 10 o'clock. You got a podcast, right? I, I said podcast breakdowns on iTunes and also I have a monthly show. It matters at New York Comic Book. Nice. Check it out. Ew. Uh, E-K-N-E-E-O-B-O-N-G. <laughs> <laughs> if you listen and, Ine- and spell out the name. <laughs> yeah. Enio Bong. Uh, send me that pussy on Snapchat. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, yeah, that's I, not I, I don't really. Yeah, <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, How much do you pay a month for UCB? Bobby? <laughs> that was no improv background. For me. Your website? Uh, my shit got shut down because I didn't pay the bill. So, <laughs> <laughs> just, yeah, just follow me on any of that other shit. Oh, shit. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank okay. you, guys. Thank you uh, give it up for them. Uh-huh. Sorry for making you guys wait. I'm not that sorry. I don't give a shit. Uh, and we'll get this started. Um, and thank you. Follow us on uh, Google Plus, iTunes, 
uh, SoundCloud and Ooh. Blog Talk Radio, uh, YouTube.com, YouTube.com, uh, The People's Mic, and JimmyPeoples.com. Thank you guys for hanging out. 